What's up everyone, Gorgon Morphs here, back with another snake unboxing and a new knife. The Spider Coast Smock. I don't know if many people are into knives, but Spider Co is a local company here in Golden, Colorado. This one was produced in Taiwan, but it's definitely a cool little knife, button press close. And on to the snake unboxing. This one is from Rockin' Royals. Bam! So, this one right here is an extra special pickup, so definitely thank you to Ken Butler on this one. But, uh, it's got a couple jeans that I'm not even super excited about to get into clown, but honestly, I saw them all together in this one and just figured I had to have it. So, I was looking to get Spot Nose into my Desert Ghosts clown project. So this is definitely a spot nose um, het clown. It is not het desert ghost, so it's just het clown. But it is spot nose. Almost looks like it's hurricane with these little uh, flex arms on it, and the head pattern is just insane on this guy. I don't know if we can focus that close. Yeah. But yeah, even the eye color, everything. Ooh. So yeah, the pattern on this guy is pretty intense as well. If you look at the hurricane sides and then look at the belly going on. Super orange. Definitely has yellow belly in him. So it's definitely spot nose. Definitely yellow belly. And definitely red stripe, and he said uh, Kabilka himself identified it as those three things, but both parents also had chocolate in them. And I think just looking at the darkness that it has, it'd be hard to believe that this is only a spot nose red stripe yellow belly. Because um, from what I've seen online, they're much brighter in color, and they don't have near the um, darkness on the dorsal so also chocolate and red stripe tend to cause these um, hurricane or excuse me chocolate and spot nose tend to cause these hurricane patterns on the side so with both parents having chocolate in them I believe this is a red stripe Yellow belly, spot nose, hat clown is what he sold it to me as, but I do believe it also has chocolate in it. Um, and chocolate and spot nose are allelic, so it can't can't be super chocolate. But I think just with that darkness and with that insane head pattern, um, I do think she will end up proving out to be chocolate. So super excited on this pickup. Thank you to Ken and Rockin' Royals. Um, definitely check him out. I'll throw the link um, to his Morph Market and stuff below. <clears throat> Y'all can check him out. Um, but man, the side pattern, the oranges, the almost hurricane look. It's, I mean, it's almost, almost impossible to believe that it doesn't have chocolate in it. Like I said, the spot nose. Chocolate really causes that hurricane pattern from what I've seen online. And with that super unique head pattern that this girl has, I figured I had to scoop her up and get her in that uh, Desert Ghost project and start making the hits so we can make the bangers here in two or three years. So, well, I guess it'll take two or three years to make the hits. Then we'll make the bangers. So it'll be four to six years from now. Long term plans, long term goals. But uh, definitely an awesome looking snake. So thanks everyone for watching. Um, we'll have more unboxings and uh, clutch reviews coming up. So stay tuned. Jeez, she's getting getting on the go. Been trapped in a box. So let me get this girl into her tub and into the racks. And please like, share, subscribe, and follow along to. See what she produces in the future. Alright, check y'all there.